Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're out at the range to do some gauntlet testing with my little Italian friend here. This is the Beretta APX 9mm. It's a brand new striker fired handgun from Beretta this year. And we're gonna see how well she holds up to our infamous or famous, depending on your perspective, gauntlet tests. So we have some 124 grain Fiocchi. This is from our friends over at Freedom Munitions. They also sell Fiocchi ammunition. I wanna thank those guys for keeping us in ammo so we can do our testing. And we have 10 rounds loaded into each of the magazines. We've been using 10 rounds since the beginning of the tests. So what is the test? Let me just quickly go over our testing protocol. First of all, we call it the elemental test. The first test is we just dunk the gun in water, fire 10 rounds. And then we go over to sand, fire 10 rounds, clean the gun off in the water, come back over, dunk it in dirt, fire 10 rounds, clean it in water, put it in mud, and then clean it in some dirty water to get ready for the second battery of tests. Now, if it passes the elemental test with flying colors, and we have no reason to believe that it, it, it's not gonna have catastrophic failure in the second battery of tests, then we move over to the gauntlet, which is simply going from water to sand to dirt to mud with no cleansing cycle in between. All right, guys, so let's see how this little gun does. First of all, we're just gonna fire. We have cleaned up the guns, we always do that. Sometimes I forget to mention that, but the guns are clean. This gun definitely has its 500 round break-in period. So we fired more than 500 rounds to this handgun. That was a request that you guys had. And now we're just gonna fire off 10 rounds just to confirm function of the gun with the ammunition. And she locks open and functions just fine. All right, now we have four magazines loaded, 10 rounds each. Let's go ahead and make the weapon ready. We put a full magazine in, chamber around so the gun's in the state that you would be carrying it. And drop it in the water here and just leave it there until the bubbles stop coming out. Get out of there. Come on, bubbles. Whoa, there's a big bunch of bubbles. Okay, here we go. 10 rounds, guys. All right, next. 10 rounds loaded, we put it in the sand, we just push it down a little bit on each side. Like that, all right. And 10 more rounds. Locks open, we're doing good. Let's go ahead and cleanse the gun off here. Actually, the serrations aren't working as good as I thought they would. My hand's sliding right off of them. So, tested that theory. These, these serrations aren't nearly as nice as I thought they would be. Interesting. Okay. Make the gun ready. Put it in the dirt. Push it down on both sides. Let's flatten that out a little bit. Push it down. All right. And here we go. Ten more rounds. That ejection's getting a little bit weak. So far, so good, though. All right. Oops. Almost forgot. Clean the dirt off of it. Yeah, those serrations. Wow, those suck, guys. I really thought that they would uh, be a benefit. They're not. All right. And let's see, we did dirt, now it's time for mud. Let's push it down until it's flush in the mud. Flip it over, push it down until it's flush in there. And the last 10 rounds. All right, guys, she made it through the elemental tests. Now we're gonna clean the gun off in its own dirty water. The magazine's just starting to stick a little bit. Clean it off in its own dirty water here. I have to grab it by the front end, guys, because those serrations just aren't working for me with my hands wet. I can't get enough grip on them. It's uh, even with the slide wet. So I used to think those were a good idea. Not so much anymore. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead Load up some more magazines, and then we'll start the gauntlet test. All right, guys, so now we've not cleaned the gun. We just rinsed it off in the last segment in its own dirty water. We've loaded up 10 rounds into each of the magazines. And now we're just gonna go through the gauntlet test. This is the hardest test that we can subject a handgun to in our battery of testing. So just like the beginning, 10 rounds in, one round in the chamber. Now we're not gonna clean the gun between each cycle, guys. We're just gonna go from one element to the next with no cleansing cycle.
that ejection is getting really weak. All the empties are falling right here. We also take things a little bit further. We not only push it down into the element, but we bring some up over it. We're trying to get stuff into every nook and cranny of the gun that we can. It's exposed. All right. Shake it off just so I can get a hold of it. And there's our first malfunction. And this is where it gets interesting. It's not going into battery, but those side slide serrations are actually kind of hard to use. double feed there. It's not going completely into battery. All right. It's not going completely into battery when I let the slide go. So I'm having to help it. All right, on one side and press it down on the other. Get some dirt up over it. Here we go. Dead trigger, just re see if I can force a reset. <laughs> it's dead trigger, I was getting ready to try to force a reset and it fired, it's out of battery. Uh, I can't even pull the slide far enough to the rear to uh, fully cycle the action because the serrations aren't working for me. I'm manually resetting the trigger at this point. Still locked open. So guys, the trigger is sticking and the trigger bar is not engaging. So I'm forcing the reset by putting my finger behind the trigger and pushing it forward. Put it in the mud, bring some mud up over it. This is where I start to look like a 10 year old or <laughs> worse. All right, here we go, guys. If this doesn't kill it, nothing will. Get a finger hole in there. Let me try to have a good grip on the gun. All right. So what's funny guys is I'm tapping the slide home and forcing the reset with my trigger finger and it's working its way through the magazine but we kind of had a short stroke there. Didn't quite come back far enough to pick up the round of the magazine. Tap and reset the trigger. Tap and reset the trigger. <laughs> but it locks open. I've never seen anything like that. So the guys, it, it limped its way through the test. I uh, had to do a couple of malfunction clearing drills there, but uh, I'm surprised that it actually made it through the mud. I didn't expect it to. It's kicking that spent case out just barely, but I'm slapping the slide home because it's out of battery and I'm forcing a reset with the tip of my finger behind the trigger and we limped it through the gauntlet test. So now we're just going to clean the gun off in its own dirty water. Think about what we've just witnessed here today. Give you some final thoughts, but first we're going to go ahead and take the gun over to the garden hose and clean it off and see if we can return it to 100% function simply by hosing the gun out, something we just started doing this year. So that's what we're going to do, uh, do next. All right, guys, let's strip the gun down here really quick and hose it off in the garden hose water here. You can hear. And this thing's filthy on the inside, it seems. Very tight fit with the magazine. Let's go ahead and start rinsing everything off. Not gonna put any lubrication on the gun. We're just gonna rinse it off and just see if we can get it to return to normal function. Basically a field expedient way to clean it from having exposed your weapon to extreme elements. Oh my gosh. It's amazing how little gook actually gets into the gun once you get them open, but they're having such a hard time. 
Nice thing about the, the Breda though, when I go back to the shop to clean it, I can, dry, I can pull this whole trigger mechanism out and clean the entire gun fairly easily. That's good enough. Let's see if we can get her to go back together here. Seems pretty good. At least I can work uh, the gun. It's a little gritty. But uh, yeah, let's go fire a few rounds out of it and see if it uh, functions properly. All right, looks like Connor's got our uh, magazines loaded up for us. Let's just see how well she does. Didn't go into battery. Needs a little bit of help there. Dead trigger, didn't go into battery. doing pretty good. Needs a little bit of help every once in a while to go into battery. And the ejection's a little bit erratic. Dead trigger, not in battery. But locks open. All right, so, yeah. Let me look at the footage again, see how it did in the first series of elemental tests and then I'll come back and give you guys my final thoughts on the Breda APX. Well guys, we went and took a look at the video of the APX's performance. Through the elemental tests, the gun did just fine, and we expect all handguns of good quality to be able to pass that test with no malfunctions, but if it does have one, it should be relatively minor, something that we can quickly clear and get it up and running again. APX aced it, did good. Where we started to run into some problems, twofold. First of all, in my initial assessment of this handgun, I used to like the serrations, I thought they were perfectly located. They weren't just for cosmetics. See the gun's still sticking open a little bit. Uh, it's, it's very, very dry. But we, I used to think that these were perfectly located and great for grabbing the gun anywhere you wanted to, right up until I started to get my hands wet, sandy, dirty, and muddy. And then I realized very quickly that these slide serrations aren't all that they're cut out to be. Uh, these aren't as, as, as aggressive as I once thought. So that's something to keep in mind, guys. Your hands get a little bit wet. You can find that you don't have enough um, leverage to actually operate that slide to clear a malfunction, something I learned this afternoon. The other issue that I had with the handgun was when we hit the gauntlet test. Now, we don't expect guns to pass the gauntlet test. If they do, awesome. We've only had a couple of handguns uh, do fairly well in the gauntlet. One, the Rex Zero One pistol, passed it with no problems. But most guns stumble at some point during that battery of tests. This handgun was no different, but the problem started as soon as we got out of the water and went to the sand, we started to have the problem where the trigger was not resetting, where every shot I would have to stick my index finger here, my trigger finger, push the trigger forward to force a reset, and then fire the gun. As that testing progressed, we actually had to tap the, the next round into battery and push the trigger forward with the index finger. Only had to clear a couple malfunctions. So the gun really started to have problems and stumbled in the, the gauntlet test. Not Horrible, but we've definitely had handguns do far better. As a matter of fact, to the two CZ products that we've run through the gauntlet test, the PO7 and the P10C, both did very well in the gauntlet test. The P10C had some problems towards the end, uh, but in the mud, but did fine otherwise. And the PO7, if I just would have used that double strike capability, that's my own fault and I may retest the pistol, but it probably would have made it through just like the Rec Zero, it came very close. But those are the only handguns that came close to ace in both tests. This one didn't. So uh, the trigger reset issue, I don't think that the, the trigger return spring strong enough on the handgun and the serrations aren't to my liking anymore. I don't think that the, they're very functional. I would like to see different serrations on the handgun. So guys, go ahead and check out the special playlist that we've created. We have a playlist that has all the gauntlet tests in one place. If I've overlooked something, or if I've forgotten something, or if I've misspoken about something in this test or others, draw your own conclusions, guys. This testing isn't meant to be scientific. The testing is meant to be entertainment more or less, but I do draw what I deem to be usable data points from these types of tests. What you draw from it, 
is, is yours, okay? You, you get out of it what you want and disregard the rest. Me personally, there's certain pieces and elements of these tests that I find to be useful when determining whether or not I like a particular handgun. All right, guys, if you would like to support us here at the Military Arms Channel, one of the best possible ways to do that right now during the uh, YouTube demonetization phase that we're going through, anything that YouTube deems to be objectionable content, political commentary they don't agree with, firearms content, airsoft, BB guns, knives, they've just basically demonetized us. To continue on, many of us have moved over to Patreon. Please consider becoming a Patreon sub subscriber supporter because we also give things back to our patrons. We give you great blowout deals on products through Copper Custom, prices you're not going to find lower anywhere else on the internet, that much we can guarantee. We also do giveaways. We just recently did a $200 ammunition giveaway from our friends over at Freedom Munitions. They donate every month $200 worth of ammo for us to give away. And we do original blog posts and, and pictures and stuff that you get to see behind the scenes. So please Please consider becoming a patron a supporter not only of the military arms channel but any content creator that you regularly watch and has a patron page also guys please consider joining the nra get in the fight it's important we have new leadership under the nra with pete brownell at the helm we have a friendly white house house and senate we have a perfect storm so to speak to get some of this legislation that we live under undone so use the link down below that link gives me money that money that i receive from you using that link and spreading it around so other people use it goes to a 503 nonprofit organization called hero hunt it's a great organization that helps wounded warriors and first responders so please get in the fight use the link down below also, please swing by, check out our online store. It's another great way to support us here at the channel, which is Copper Custom, coppercustom.com. We have a lot of great prices over there, some pretty cool products, and it's another great way, again, to support us here at the channel. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for all those years of support, and we'll talk to you guys soon.